How are you guys doing tonight? All right, one at a time. Uh, I'm going to play a little game that I like to play with audiences with you guys. I'd like to, it's called Guess My Nationality. I just want you guys to yell out what nationality you think I am. Just go ahead, just go ahead and yell it out. Irish! Yeah. Irish. All right, all right, that's enough. There's no t-shirts involved. You're not going to win a prize. <laughs> someone said Irish, someone said gay. That's not a nationality. <laughs> I know, I, I know. I, the game's over, guy. <laughs> Quit it. I am, uh, I am Mexican. He wins a jello shot. There we go. Get him a jerk. Um, I, I am Mexican, and uh, a lot of times people say, wow, you're a little tall to be Mexican. Uh, yeah, that's racist. Uh, uh, the first time I heard that, I got real offended. I got in my burrito van. I beat the crap out of a piñata. I was... <laughs> it's a true story. Um, I'm proud of being Mexican. If uh, Historically, uh, being Mexican means I am half uh, native Aztec and half Spaniard, which uh, translates into half slave, half slave owner. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, because it explains why I make myself do crap that I don't want to do. So, so that works out. Uh, I know I don't look Mexican. I look like various different cultures. The other day, this guy came up to me. He was like, are you Arab? I was like, whoa. Hell no, because we're at an airport. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and he's like, no, it looks like you're from Pakistan. I was like, no, more like taco stand. <laughs> and uh, he understood that, and that was cool. Um, I'm proud of being Mexican, a rich, rich culture. My father was a, was a hardworking Mexican man. He was a bit of a workaholic. He was working all the time. Um, sometimes he was, he, I wish he was abusive, just so that we could have a father-son activity. Um, <laughs> And uh, he was also really cheap. He, uh, he wouldn't even buy me books. He would always say, uh, wait for the movie to come out. I'm still waiting for Dictionary to come out. Uh, I hear phone book's going to be good. I, I, uh, yeah, my dad and I, we joke around a lot. Uh, he doesn't like it. He makes fun of my big ears. And I make fun of him for being stark bald, and he doesn't like it. And I say, Dad, relax. You know, it's not like I'm making fun of your leukemia. And, uh, oh, you, you can laugh. He's dead. It's okay. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Dad. He's back there. Oh, uh, no. Um, <laughs> no, I'm a nice guy, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I like to help out. There's a lot of homeless people here in the city, a lot of homeless. Anybody homeless in the audience tonight? The Portuguese guy? Nobody? Um, no, I like to help out the homeless. I don't, uh, I don't carry change, but I do like to hand out appetite suppressants. I ha hand, uh, hand those out and it works. <laughs> He's one of my clients. Um, no, I, uh, yeah, I like to help out. I'm a good guy. Uh, I've been having some relationship trouble recently. Yeah, no, no, right. nah, it's too late. You screwed up. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I've been having some uh, relationship trouble. Um, my girlfriend's been saying I don't respect her privacy or her space or, I don't know, she wrote that in an email to her mom uh, the other day. But, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, when we... <laughs> Stupid. Um, we've been having uh, problems in the bedroom as well. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna take her to a computer company because I think she can help them design a computer that never goes down. <laughs> Not even on your birthday. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, so yeah, we've been having problems. She cheated on me recently with a guy who works at Petco. So I got back at her, I'm seeing somebody from Petco. Uh, her name is Snowflake. She likes to go for long walks. I'm glad you guys got that joke, because it's hard to explain. 
Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, anybody has uh, anyone have iPhones? You guys have iPhones? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. Um, that wasn't the joke, by the way. Uh, I uh, no, I saw on the internet that there's porn for the iPhones, which is weird because that's sending a, a weird signal to me. Are, are we saying that we're okay with public masturbation? Is that because when I did it, I got arrested? So I don't. I'm just saying, that's weird. Um, what else? Uh, I read a lot of psychological journals. You guys read psychological journals? Of course you do. I knew it. I knew it. You're, you're that kind of crowd. Uh, <laughs> I read in a psychological journal that if you have sex with somebody in a dream, subconsciously you're angry at that person. Have you guys heard this theory that I just made up? All right. Um, <laughs> No, it's a, real, it's a real theory. If you have sex with somebody in a dream, subconsciously you, you have anger issues with them, which is confusing because I had no idea that I was angry with Megan Fox and, and George Clooney. I was, I was confused. It, you know what, though? You know what? It does, it does explain a lot of dreams I've had about my mother, so that's... That is, that is good. <laughs> Oh, you guys are good. You, what? Oh, you guys watch the Discovery Channel? Isn't that fun? Yeah. Uh, I, I watched this a special uh, on these monkeys. There's these monkeys in Africa that uh, the way they say hello to each other is uh, by having sex. Like that's how they say hello. They like they go, oh, hey mom, hi dad, how you doing? Like that's that's how they say hi. And I was just like, imagine if if humans did that, would that be? That'd be weird. You walk into the office, you're like, hey, Frank, how you doing? How you doing, Molly? Nice to see you. And then somebody you don't like, you just go, hey, Jeff, what's going on? <laughs> just give him a hand job. He didn't like him. <laughs> he didn't like him, so it doesn't matter. Um, what do you guys think about gay marriage? Woo! Yeah? Yeah, because if you think about it, straight marriage is pretty gay. Uh, I don't I don't know. That's just me. I, uh, I used to have a gay roommate um, living in the city, and uh, I didn't know he was gay until I came home one night, and I heard a struggle going on in his bedroom. And I burst into hell, and it clearly wasn't a struggle. But I ended up helping anyway, so that's, well, that's another story. You guys have been great. I'm Cesar Zamora. Thank you so much. Comedy time.